Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see about what is data mining and the basic applications of data mining and what is the exact usage of data mining. Data mining overview. So basically you should know what is data mining is or what do you mean by data mining before we start with the chapters. So, in the industry, we have a huge amount of data and this data is of no use until it is covered something useful information. It is necessary to analyze this huge amount of data and extract only the information which is required for the further information. Extraction of information is not the only process we need to perform. Also, we have to perform the data cleaning, data integration, data transformation, some part of data mining, pattern evaluation, data presentation. Don't worry about this. We'll learn this term in a brief in the further videos detailed. But once all this process will get completed then we can say that that type of data is the information for the further usage there are certain amount of applications are there for the data mining that is fraud detection market analysis production control and the science exploration now we'll see where and when we are going to use this data but before that we'll see what is data mining is. So, what is data mining? A data mining is defined as the extracting information from huge set of data. Or we can say that data mining is the procedure of mining knowledge from a data. See, this is a basic theoretical definition, but if you want to elaborate the data mining in an easier way, we can say we having a large amount of a data and from that large amount of data, we are going to perform some operation on that data and we'll extract or we'll say we form one summary, which is actually information for our future usage. The information or knowledge extracted so can be used for any of the following applications like the market analysis, fraud detection, customer retention, production control and science exploration. Now we'll see where we can use this data in a brief. So some of the application. Data mining is highly used in the following domain like market analysis, corporate analysis, fraud detection. Apart from this, data mining also can be used in some of the production control, customer retention, science exploration, sports, astrology, internet, surfing, etc. Or we can say a one of the brief data which is present in whole world is one of the search engine we are using that is google that contains a lot amount of data right if you put anything on your search bar you will get immediate content related to that data so that is also one type of data analysis next market analysis and management now we'll see where we are using this data mining and how so these are some fields where we are using a data mining. First is customer profiling. A data mining helps to determine that what kind of people buy what kind of product. So I can give you the example like Amazon. Consider Amazon. Amazon is having huge amount of customers or we can say a Flipkart. Flipkart is also having a huge amount of customer which are e-customers we can say. But those customers are having a lot 
a lot and a lot amount of information right so through that we have to gather that which customer is going to come back for the churning purpose or for the any of the future review so that also we can profile with the help of data mining next is identifying the customer requirement right we can get through the reviews through the rating that which customer is going to buy this product or which product is having in a high demand you can do that with the help of data analyzing then cross market analysis we can perform the correlation correlation means we can find that customer and the product relationship and we can find that which product is having a higher correlation between each other right next is target marketing target marketing means uh, to find the cluster of a model which customer who share or who having the interest on that some product or we can say uh, like uh, consider dubai dubai is having a huge amount of interest interest in buying the acs fine then we can say the indian market indian market is having a huge amount of interest interest in buying the clothes right so those interests or those habits or we can say some sports activity like sports person are having the interest in buying some sports material so that we can get through the performing the clustering right we'll see that what is clustering and all but we can find out those interest or those habits right through the customer data analysis then determining the customer purchasing pattern right we, as we have discussed we can determine that what type of customer like uh, i'll say uh, young people young people are more interested in buying the sports material or some education material or we can say some uh, latest trend of the clothes so that also we can uh, identify with the help of data mining then providing the summary information uh, as you know that each and every company has to get a final report right of the each and every month or we can say each and every end of the month right and that report we can get through the data analysis that which product is having a higher demand which customer is having a higher demand for which country we have to buy this product for which country we have to sell this product so that we can do using data mining next is corporate analysis and risk management in this field we are using data mining in finance planning and asset evaluation see basically where the cash is flowing right consider a banking a banking sector in a banking sector consider each and every term right each and every uh, cash or each and every the amount is where it is flowing right plus we have to predict that what amount of data we are going right repo rate how we decide that repo rate using the prediction data right or we can claim that analysis yes no this can be happen so that type of thing we can do with the help of data mining then resource planning yes you have to plan the resources using the summarization of your data we can also plan the resources like no after this we we are going to need this or we are going to use this so that also we can do with the help of resource planning then competition competition means it involves monitoring the competitors also as well as we can found the market direction where our market actually going right now so that also we can do using data mining next we can say fraud detection that is a very important term we can say through that we can find that what type of fraud is going to perform and you can avoid it we can predict it right so how we can do that data mining is also used in the field of credit card services or the telecommunication to detect the fraud in fraud telecom communication it helps to find the destination of the call and the duration of the call time of the day or a week it also analyze the pattern right we can determine the pattern using data mining so that also we can do using data mining as well as we can analyze the different customers which are actually going to come to buy the product or to going to perform the same type of fraud so that also we can do with the help of a data mining so in this video we have seen that 
what is data mining what is the actual requirement of data mining and some of the applications of the data mining using that where we are actually using our data mining for the future information thank you